Hi guys, Laura here. I'm here today to do my non spoiler review of In the Afterlife by Alexandra Bracken. This is the third book in her Darkest Mind series, and there's also two novellas, In Time and Sparks Rise. I really like this book. I gave it five stars. It was a great conclusion to a series, um, and I haven't read one of those recently, so it really made me happy. The ending was just, the book was so fraught with peril and terror and anxiety, but I really liked the ending. I think it had a very like solid conclusion and there wasn't that many loose ends maybe one part of the book I really wanted to see more of and I maybe am hoping we'll eventually get a novella um to maybe clear up the loose ends of Sam and Lucas but other than that I was really happy with it I was really happy with how the book ended I was really happy how we got a solid answer what what caused the disease and it wasn't something that I could have predicted and it really put a lot of interesting tr intrigue into the book because it wasn't something that the children did it was something the government did to them and I think that for a government that was blaming these children for everything they really need to they at that point it really made the government turn around and look at themselves um I really liked seeing um the characters interact in different ways I love seeing the progression of the romance between Ru Ruby and Liam because they really have had such a hard road and I think that the character of Cole really brought in an unnecessary distraction, but didn't, like, completely tear them apart, which I was terrified was going to happen. I'm a big Ruby and Liam fan. I also really liked how Chubbs really grew up in this book, and it was surprising who made him do that and what you saw. I also was really a big fan of the big the Black Betty game from book one, so in book two when we didn't see most of them, it really made me sad. But to just see that their, their, their dynamics were still there was another thing that made me so happy. Um, and it also was interesting to see how the old characters interacted with the new characters and how those relationships really did build. And that's why I kind of want a new book. Because I feel like the end of it made it seem like... It was kind of like the ending of Harry Potter. When everything was kind of all laid out and you know what's going to happen but you still want to know how it's going to happen... That's kind of how I felt at the end of this book. Like, everything was laid, and you knew what was going to happen, but you didn't know how. So that's kind of why I want more in this series. I know we're not getting a full-length book, but I can still hope for a novella, vanilla, and Alexandra Bracken said she was, she might do it. The only part of the series that was left really wide open was Lucas and Sam's relationship, which started in, in the Sparks Rise, the second novella in the series. So I kind of want more of them, but I, we'll see. I would really like to see more of them. But yeah, I, I really give this such, it was such a good series. It, it's probably one of my favorite series of 2014 because I read it all in 2014 or reread it in 2014. Um, but I still love the character of Chubbs. I think he was probably my favorite character of this entire series. Um, but I like how this series really focused on so many different perspectives and so many different views. It really made the world seem so realistic. So it was one, it was a world that like I felt so happy going to and that's kind of ironic considering the topic of this but I also liked how everyone had a little bit of way different way of dealing with their powers and at the end it really was amazing to see how this book ended and what was said those final speeches and that final like 50 pages I just could I just wanted to know what happened I was also really, really happy. It was really important to me that Ruby had some type of closure with her parents and she got to see her grandmother again. That was really important to me. And it just, it showed me that in this world where everyone was against these kids, there were some people that never gave up hope and some people that still really wanted to find out what happened to their children. And that just made me happy. That just made me happy at the end of the book. So if you're into a dystopian book, with powers and hard-hitting messages. I highly recommend this book. If you read it, let me know. Comment below. I love to talk to you guys. Tweet me. Go on my Goodreads. Comment below. I will answer you as quick as I can. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's Thanksgiving in America when I'm recording this. So have a very happy Thanksgiving if you guys celebrate. And if not, just have a great day. And hope you guys like what you're reading.